Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most lethal weapon because with it, you can change the world. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy Riley. Like, share and subscribe to inspire others. Lend me your ears as we slay this whole topic on academic choice. Kenya is currently ranked 43rd amongst the countries with the highest unemployment ratio. This is according to the International Labour Organization's ILO. With an increasing rate of unemployed graduates, high school and college dropouts, as well as youth with little skills, training and experience, I urge us to ask ourselves, what role are we playing in order to curb this growing menace? When I completed secondary education, like most teenagers, I wanted to be a plethora of things. I wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, a pilot, you name it. I struggled making the right decision. And so I excelled in my secondary education and was enrolled at a public university to study engineering. Shortly after, I decided to drop out. Now, in the time to follow, I explored different careers, started a company, traveled, as well as took on courses such as the YALI program, Young African Leaders Initiative. Now, why do so many young people quit on their dreams and abandon their careers and callings? Take a look at what I found online. Albert Einstein once said, everybody's a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Exhibit A, here's a modern day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Do you prepare students for the future? or the past. If a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine to all of his patients, the results would be tragic. So many people would get sick, yet when it comes to school, this is exactly what happens. This educational malpractice where one teacher stands in front of 20 kids, each one having different strengths, different needs, different gifts, different dreams, and you teach the same thing the same way? But countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter school days. Teachers make a decent wage. Homework is non-existent and they focus on collaboration instead of competition. But here's the kicker, boys and girls. Their educational system outperforms every other country in the world. My turning point occurred one evening when I incurred a road carnage. I was going home and the vehicle which I was in was met head on collision by another vehicle. Now, unfortunately, the driver of the vehicle I was in died on the spot. And while I lay in my hospital bed, I asked myself a few questions. What would people remember me for? Who would say that I impacted their lives positively through acts of service and kindness? I dropped back in college to Ghana experience and skills in an area where I believed I would become one day exceptional at. Here are a few ways in which we can make better academic and career choices and ultimately curb unemployment. Invest in yourself. Personally develop by listening to audios, reading books, attending seminars, learning skills and traveling. Volunteer. Begin to work Try out business ideas and never mind the pay at first. Work for free and have a student's mindset and learn on the job. Engage in networking, either online, events, open up and talk to people. Only two things can change people. The books you read and the people you meet. Investing in yourself will refine you to know what to say when the opportunity presents itself. Get in different environments and see where you naturally gravitate towards. Where you're happiest or most engaged in mentally or emotionally. Like for lovers, you'll know when you find it, as Steve Jobs says. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, support you and help you grow and push you. Negative energy will only slow you down. Remember, you're an average of the five friends you spend the most time with. Let that sink in. Have faith and believe that you will find your true north. After all, the founder of KFC made his breakthrough in his late 50s. Take a chill pill. For me, I believe in God. So, find your spiritual place. Be one with your supreme creator. Have a ton of fun because it's going to be a journey getting to your dreams and the reward in the end 
is indeed the journey. What are some other ideas that you have in mind? I'd love to hear about them. Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know. The reality is we do not lack resources. We lack resourcefulness. That's all I had for you today. I'd love to hear what topics you'd like me to talk about. Don't forget to follow me on social media platforms. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hashtag Lucy Riley. Bye.